elephant. Come to my house and have fun. Hello, elephant. Why do you want me to come to your house? Because coming to my house is fun. Um. Okay. My house is up the mountain. Don't go to his house. Don't. Don't go up the mountain. Invaders 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now that is how you make a, a, a game name that people will remember. Go with the obvious asparagus. How did you know my favorite vegetable to shoot at aliens is asparagus? Now, clearly, I how do I choose my color? Well, the high score is almost unreachable. This game is fantastic. Look at the bases, they're disappearing at the bottom. Uh, just going crazy, great job. Now you're just asking for it when you build a game like Cold River's Maze that doesn't have sound. Bring on the bass. So I know what you're thinking. You're probably going to start adding music to your games now. Otherwise, Mr. Matt might put bass guitar, heavily distorted bass guitar, into your games. All right, well, in this next game, that is not a problem. This is Asteroid Dash by Loco Daddy. And it is incredible because the objects are coming at you and you're spinning around trying to dodge the the tie fighters it is really a great take on a star wars game great job loco daddy love it too bad i didn't have a chance to put some bass in there up next we have a tower of defense game which is actually a remix or Someone who followed the tutorial by Daniel Smith, which is very, very interesting. So go to YouTube and check out this tutorial because it shows you how to build this game. And look at it. I tried, I tried to win. To be honest, I am not very good at defending my tower. And well, I just perhaps I just don't have a lot of experience with defending towers. Is that a tomato? Am I Am I using a tomato to defend the tower? Anyways, love it. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. You are a dinosaur, a somewhat ferocious dinosaur who's being shot at by a hippo who poops arrows. And I can't quite figure out if you can catch the arrows because sometimes you can throw them back at them. But if you catch the beach ball, it explodes? There's a lot of questions and a lot of answers in this game, but I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. No, I didn't get to all the amazing projects that were submitted this week, but I would like to let everybody know that if you have a platformer that doesn't have any bad guys or points or any conclusion to the game, I won't be putting it on the Scratch Show. Also, games that don't have sound you might get the baseline. <laughs> Anyways, if you'd like to submit your project to The Scratch Show, go to hackingtons.com forward slash scratch. I would love to see what you're building. I'll see you next time.